Okay, so welcome to the uh, second video for Unit 3 over isotopes. The first thing we're going to go over is what are isotopes. And so the definition is they are atoms. They are atoms of the same element, but they have different masses. So basically what that means, they have the same number of protons. But because their mass is different, that means they have different number of neutrons. Okay, so uh, isotopes are actually naturally occurring. Uh, you can easily take or give a neutron to an atom, so that's how they come about. And a very important thing about isotopes is they are used to calculate what's called the average atomic mass. This is the mass that you see on the periodic table for every single element. And so we're going to talk about how you calculate that using an example. Okay, so before we work out that example, we're going to talk about how do you write an isotope notation. And so you basically need three things. First thing you need is the uh, symbol of the element, so you can just get this right off the periodic table. And then you need the mass number, which is represented by A. You can calculate this on your own by getting the number of protons and adding that to the number of neutrons. Um, or you can start with the atomic number, which is straight off the periodic table for that element. And remember, that tells you how many protons you have. So if you know how many protons you have and you know the mass number, you can just subtract the number of protons from the mass and that will get you the number of neutrons. Okay, so an example of naturally occurring isotopes are the isotopes of carbon. Uh, so carbon has three known isotopes, carbon-12, carbon-13, and carbon-14. So the only difference, if you notice, they all have six protons. Remember, protons tells you what element you are. So you can't change the number of protons unless you change the type of element. So they're all the same element. They have the same number of protons. They have six. The only thing that changes is the number of neutrons. So if you notice, as you add one, that adds on to the mass. Uh, so you write out the uh, name of the element, and then just a dash, and then the mass of that isotope is a number that goes right behind it. So that's just another way of writing isotopes. Okay, so how do you actually calculate average atomic mass? There are two things that you need. You need the percentage or the abundance of each isotope, and you need the mass of each isotope. You have to make sure that you have the percentage and the mass for all of the naturally occurring isotopes for that given element. The problem will give you all this information. The hardest part is doing the math. So what you need to do for each individual isotope, you need to get the percentage of that isotope and multiply it with the mass of that isotope. So you're going to multiply percentage times mass for the first isotope. Then you do that again, percentage times mass for the second isotope. And if you notice, you just add up all of those numbers until you've done that for each and every isotope. So this can go on for however long that it needs to, depending on however many isotopes that you have. So once you've added those all up, you're going to get the average atomic mass in what are called AMUs, an average atomic mass unit. One thing that you need to make a note of, the percentage has to be in decimal format. This is the number one way that everyone misses this question on the test, is they don't switch it over into decimal format. Uh, so you can just remember DP, like Dr. Pepper, if it's a percentage and you want to get it over to decimal, you just have to move it two spaces over to the left. Okay, so let's work on an example. It says the element neon consists of three isotopes. So we're going to do that percent times mass three times. Gives you the mass of each of those isotopes. And then it goes on to tell you that the percentage of each of those isotopes is the following. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert these percentages into decimal format first. Move that decimal space over two spaces to the left. So for the very first isotope, 
it's going to be 0 0.9092. So take a note, I move that decimal over, and it's going to be multiplied with the mass, which in this case is 19.99. So there's isotope 1, and we're going to add that to isotope 2 is not 0.25, but 0 0.0025 times 20.99. So there's the second isotope. Then we're going to add that to the third isotope, which is not 8.83, but 0 0.0883 times 21.99. So just notice that's percent times mass. Just make sure that percentage is in a decimal format. So when you type those in your calculator, uh, if you notice, I can only get this uh, right here to four sig figs. So when I type that in the calculator, I'm going to round it to four sig figs. Add that to. Now this one, I can only have two sig figs for this answer. So I'm going to round that to 0 0.052. And then this one, I can only have three sig figs, no more. So when I get that number, I got 1.94. So all we have to do is add those all up, and that will get us our final answer. When you're adding up numbers, we can't have any more decimal places than the lowest number in the problem. So I only have two decimal places in these two numbers. So we're going to round this answer to 20.16. And don't forget your units. That is atomic mass units.